Mick Hilke is outside the London Stadium West Ham Fan TV. Expected defeat, really, but um, we've done all right at that point. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we did do all right, but surely you can see what we were seeing with Lanzini. He shouldn't be on that pitch, come on. You know what I mean? He, he was just a passenger, and I thought, Halla, God, he's had a lot of stick this year, but he put a shift in today, he really did, but there's no one up there with him. You know what I mean? You've got the best defence here in the country, the best team in the country, and you've got him up there on his own. He can't, I thought he put a shift in, but surely we've got to support him. Put, play two up, we've got enough to lose. We expect us to lose here, so play two up top. Maybe he was looking at goal difference, mate, because our goal difference is slipping and sliding uh, into the um, into the negative, like the big negatives, you know. Um, I thought the right back had a really good game. He looked very, very good. Good young lad, really good. And I mean, we've got some good youngsters at this club. Like yeah. Chelsea, what they've done, Arsenal playing the youngsters. Give them a go. They can't do much worse than some of them players on there. I thought he, him, Masuaku, hit and miss, but I thought he had a good game. Haller put a shift in, but the young lad, I thought he was superb. I thought really the passing's very wayward, isn't it? And we're not moving on enough off the ball. Nick, we just we just booting the ball full. We're the worst team in the league for that. I mean, you look at look around. You've got Norwich, West, um, Watford. They're all putting a shift in. They're all trying, but we just can't string two passes together. It's a joke. I'm looking at. It's so frustrating, especially after the weekend as well. It's, it's, it's getting to spend a fortune coming here, come a long way to come down here, and I didn't expect nothing today. I really didn't. But I just thought, wish, wish we'd play two up top and try and go for it. But I mean, two, two nil against these <laughs> ain't that bad, really. I mean, did you um, see enough signs today that that gives you a little bit more more hope for the games coming up? Brighton's a massive game yeah. now. Unless we play. Uh, give um, Haller support we, we're not we, I, I mean we've just brought this guy in I've watched him on YouTube he ain't that bad apparently but I watch him but why have we brought him there the end of January why did we do what Liverpool done with that mini, mini, mini what are you that Minimino. guy yeah Minimino they just got you know what I mean they brought him in January no bells and whistles they went and got him and there he's part of their squad now we've just waited a whole month it's going to take a couple of weeks to get him in you know we're just wasting time but I, personally speaking, Brighton's never an easy game for us, Nick, is it? It's never easy. And I think... Well, we've got, to, we've got to dig deep and find something, mate. Otherwise, we're going to be in real trouble. We are in trouble. We are. I, I honestly think we're going down, mate. Because I, the other teams have got something about them. They're, they're fighting. But we, we just... There's a lot of players out there lacking confidence. And the injuries are coming at the wrong time for us as well. But I just can't believe we got rid of four forwards and brought two in. Just don't out, don't do the maths, does it? Well, he's got a couple more days. Well, one more day, ain't he? Yeah, one more, one more day, more, and um, and then it'll be slam shut, and we're stuck with what we got. Well, I just pray, hope and pray that they bring someone in because this is is getting painful now. It yeah. really is. Okay, mate. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers, Nick. Um, thank you.